Um, gonna do a little product review of the UTG um, light. Uh, I got this one off of um, eBay for about, uh, I think it was around $60. Um, I've also seen it at a local gun store. Um, this is a, actually a really nice little light for the price. Um, fairly inexpensive. It's no nothing to be you know to go crazy with. It's just I use it for you know I put this on my MMP uh, for my bedside. Um, basically, it's just a good around the house light. Um, I take it with me when I take the dogs out to go um, for, you know walk at night. Um, and just because you know even if I just don't even bring the gun, I just use it for the light itself because it's you know nice and small, fits in the hand. Nothing bulky. Um, uh, uh, supposedly it has a Cree light, which I think it does. I actually have one of my customers who has designed products for Cree. Um, I haven't yet shown him to see if it actually is one of his. But anyways, so far I've had this for a few months. Um, battery's been lasting really well. Um, as a, just a quick release for, for the rails. Um, you just adjust it to how it needs to be for yours. Um, that's why it's not as good for carrier and things like that, just because it's a little bit bulkier, a little heavy. Um, but it's nice because it has a momentary um, thing, you know, so you can just flick it, and it's ambidextrous, which helps since I'm a lefty. Um, but you can just hold it down, and it comes on, or you can flick it on, flick it up, and it stays on. Um, one thing to note that these are a little stiff when they when you first get it, um, but after a while it, they loosen up to where um, it's pretty simple and it just quickly attaches. For, I first got this for my compact because I wanted something that could go on a compact and not you know be too long or too short, um, and it reaches just enough um, or you know um, it's a bright light. Uh, got it actually has really good distance. Um, I can actually see the edges of my yard, which is probably about 50 yards away, give or take. Um, and down the street, you get a good wide range of view. It gets a little fuzzy, but it's you can still see if anything was out there. Um, batteries, the stock batteries have actually been lasting since I've got it, and I think I got this around March. Um, okay, it's not on all the time, it's usually just a little a couple of flicks here and there. Um, but uh, it's been going good. Uh, sorry for the low light. I was figuring I'd show you a little brighter. Um, but it does have a nice uh, bright light to it. Um, and what's nice about it is it doesn't necessarily just flood the area. It actually gets a nice beam. Um, I also use this a lot of times because uh, I have a little MMP BB gun that I use for popping deer. To get them out of my yard, which I'll, which has a little rail on it too, so I'll usually toss it on that. That way I can see them at night and still pop them if I need to, um, since I can't shoot them unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's a good little light if you're not looking to spend a lot on on um, a pistol light or some kind of accessory light, um, and you just kind of want it for around the house bedside in case you know you need to see something at night um, without holding the flashlight. For the value, it's pretty good so far. I've had no issues with it. Um, battery's been lasting. Uh, so yeah, if you got any questions or uh, people want to see more, I can maybe try to do a night video with the little crap camera that I have. But uh, so yeah, just a UTG light. Um, it's worth it if you want something simple. So yeah.